that standoff playing out in a small town in Alabama. And at the center of it all, a little five-year-old boy who for five days now has been held underground in a bunker, pulled off the school bus out of the front seat where he loved to sit. His smiles replaced now with reports of cries from down below. Teams of law enforcement have arrived standing watch, and at night now in that community, neighbors lighting candles, standing vigil. And tonight, as temperatures are expected to plummet, authorities are saying little about how they could get this boy out. ABC's Gio Benitez is in Midland City, Alabama, again tonight. Five days into this dramatic standoff, we're learning that hostage taker Jimmy Lee Dykes has been in constant contact with negotiators, letting them send things to that little boy held hostage, five-year-old Ethan, through a pipe leading to the underground bunker. He's also allowed us to provide coloring books, um, medication, toys. And I, I want to thank him for taking care of our child. That's, that's very important. It's unclear what kind of medication, but the boy reportedly has ADHD and a form of autism. Police don't think Dykes has physically harmed the boy, but we know he's been crying. The bunker has an electric heater, but below the surface, there are near freezing temperatures. Last Tuesday was just like any other school day. Little Ethan was sitting in his favorite seat in the front of the bus when Dykes got on board. I look up and he's talking about threatening to kill us all or something. And then he's like, I'll, I'll kill all y'all, I'll kill y'all. I want, I just want two kids. 14 year old Terika Singletary was on that bus and says Dykes walked in and gave the driver a note before shooting him dead, then running off with Ethan in his arms. One of Dykes' neighbors says his behavior was so bizarre in the weeks before the shooting that they should have told somebody. I regret not warning some of the neighbors of some of his tendencies and telling them, you know, he's the type of guy you might need to stay away from, that he could be dangerous in the future. Meanwhile, Ethan is a boy who loves to be hugged. Cindy Steiner is like family to him and says he doesn't know a stranger. If Ethan is able to watch this right now, what would you say to him directly? Ethan, hang tough, little man. We love you. And tonight we've learned Ethan's birthday is just next week. So suddenly this new reality that Ethan could spend his sixth birthday in captivity.